Peter Delapena here with USA Under-19 Captain Greg Sudile after a five-wicket loss to Canada here on the eighth day of play at the 2011 ICC Under-19 World Cup qualifier. Greg, you won the toss and bad at first. I know throughout the innings it was difficult conditions with rain to stop starting, but um, you guys only put out 101 uh, before you were all on the 41st over. And it looked like, again, similar to the Scotland match, you guys kind of played some uh, loose shots early to, to put yourselves on the back foot. If you had the toss to do over, over again, would you still bat first? Or or what was what was your mindset uh, throughout that innings at the start? Uh, seeing the way the pitch played, um, if I think I had the toss first, I think we would have definitely bowled first. Um, it looked a bit dry, so we opted to bat. But um, uh, we're not here to make excuses. Um, I thought that we played a, f a few rare shots that uh, cost us our top order. And I also thought Canada did well to keep the pressure on us. and. Um, just take control over the game. So th those loose shots, again, like I said, similar to the Scotland game, it looked like you guys just didn't come out focused and really uh, determined to, to stick to the task at hand. What, why is the team having these mental lapses? There's a couple times now, and even yesterday against Vanuatu, you guys didn't look 100% on the ball, but it was a weak opponent. Um, here you didn't get away with it. Why, why are these kind of mental lapses happening? Um, I just think uh, it's, about, it's all about us, us being mentally prepared. And I don't think for this game we were, but um, hopefully for the next game we will be against uh, Nepal, our final game. Um, having won four games, um, we need five to definitely qualify, and um, we'll come out all guns blazing for uh, the Nepal game. Why do you think the team was not mentally prepared, though? I mean, this is a win today would have clinched more or less a, a spot in the top six. What what happened? Uh, I don't think the team wasn't mentally prepared. I just thought that we played a few rash shots that cost us our top water early on. How was the Canadian bowling? I know they did well to exploit the conditions, but Manny Log took six wickets. Uh, what was what was your overall assessment of, of their bowling attack? Yeah, hats out to him. I thought he bowled really well. Um, he used the conditions to, edit, to his advantage, which he should have done, and he did. So uh, hats off to their bowlers. Um, unlucky for us, but um, tomorrow's another day. Seeing the way the pitch played, especially in the second innings, there was a lot of balls shooting off a length, giving the, the Canadian batsmen a, a very large amount of trouble. Um, you guys didn't bat out the last 9.3 overs. If, what kind of score, if you, if you had bat at all 50 do you think would have been defendable seeing how the pitch played in the second innings? Um, 30 overs through our innings we were looking at uh, at 150 to be uh, a, a par score for us but unfortunately we were 50 runs short of that so that obviously costed us the game. Now you, you said a couple times now that you're going to come out much sharper against Nepal you've got one match you have to there's no there's no option you have to come out and, and win that game what is going to be done tomorrow on the off day? What's going to be said? What's going to be done to make sure that the team comes out ready to, to give it all they've got? Uh, yeah, we'll definitely have a talk with all the players, um, which will involve the manager, the physio, the coaches. Um, just make sure everybody's on cue. Everybody is, uh, is mentally ready and physically ready to go. Um, I think we will come out strong against Nepal. Um, obviously, they're one of the stronger teams in the tournament, and um, we have to play to our best ability um, on Tuesday. All right, USA Under-19 captain Greg Sudail. Thanks a lot.